Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn some tricks of MIT App Inventor code. Okay, so in the block section, I'll show you something and that one is this code. Can you search? Right, this one. Have you seen before this one? Anyone? I don't think. You will see here, that's the code. Here is nothing. In the text, in the logic, you will not see this code anywhere. But how we can get this code? And what is the use of this block? It means that one block. Okay, so I'm using a control Z. I already have done one code for that. Okay, so just control Z that one code. See, whenever I click on this button, button one, if so, I'm using here two conditions in the one if statement is if this one I'm using a that one block. Okay, then I just check if text box one value is. 2 minus text box 2 value. If the value is less than 0, then we have to display negative value. If the value is greater than 0, so we have to display positive value. Okay, in the label. So, how we can uh, use this one block? You know, now how we can get this block? That's very simple. Click on this math. Okay, and just get this one code. And then you have to right click on this code like this and you will see here external inputs just click on this you will find that one code is similar to this like this you can change it to equal to not equal greater and less than that one sign okay that's the uh, trick of this one how you can get this one code and that's really very useful code for you will uh, you can see here let's put some code here like put some value 20 and 10 just click on this positive value suppose if i just click on 10 and this should be 20 just and click on it negative value all right because we are getting minus 10 right so you can use uh, here uh, using this block so you can use multiple condition in this block like that all right so that's very easy and basic thing now Let's click on maths and click on the any code like suppose that's the code here. Just right click on this code and you will find your duplicate option. You already know that how we can use it. Like if you want to duplicate this code, you can just click on duplicate and you will find that one like this. Okay. Then suppose just click on again and add comment. You can add the comments, collect block, disable block, add to backpack. That one is amazing. Okay. So whenever someone click on the add to backpack, this will add in this your bag. So I already have done, I already have added a lot of code here. Okay. And uh, delete blocks, make generic. So what is this? You will see here, question mark, just click on it. And you will find here, any component blocks. This one is very simple, is make generic. So whenever someone click on any button, like suppose if I just use here another button, three button, all these button display the same value here. Suppose let's go and just type here 20 and 10. If I just press this one button, this will be positive value. Let's put three and here 40 and I'm going to press button two, negative value. If I just press here 10 and click on button three, this will uh, display positive value means all buttons are working because we have uh, we just make it as a any button component we just converted this code like this okay that's very useful all right delete download block as png you can download this block as a png just click on it and you'll find that's the png image right this one like this so there are a lot of tricks okay so if you want to know more tricks about mit app inventor so please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share this video okay have a nice day be safe bye bye